Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Hi. I don't, I don't really want to hang out tonight. Aw. I keep jumping off the tower and fucking Dan keeps putting me back. He's an asshole. T Tara's racist against white people. I don't want to hang out with her. The cat doesn't understand what white people are. Well, See, that's what I said. well, I know she's racist against them, and that makes her an asshole. Right, baby? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, Grady's white. Are you racist against Grady? Oh, look at him. He's about to fall asleep in my arms. And Kitty's fucking off. <laughs> oh, baby, that was not a good landing. Aww. So, hi. Hi. Do you want to get in your hammock? Grady, you want to get in your hammock? I've moved Grady's hammock up a little bit so it'll be visible in the shot. Let's put Grady in his hammock. There you go. There you go, sleepy go, bozo. Sleepy bozo. There you go. Okay. Hello. Hello. You, you, I had an interesting evening. You made the Nazis mad. I made all the Nazis mad and also some men's rights activists, weirdly. Weirdly. Uh, wow, are you saying there's some overlap between Nazis and men's rights activists? Who knew? Who knew? I still, until like five That's minutes crazy. ago, had some bitch fucking spamming me, trying to convert me to, like, I'm apparently racist against white people, and she was trying to save me and convert me, and she's like, I, I see in you what others used to see in me, and I'm just trying to help you, and I finally had to fucking block her. I told her like five times, like, stop it. I am not interested in your fucking racism evangelism. Isn't Twitter the most wonderful place sometimes? Yeah. So it happened, for those who do not follow my every expl exploit on Twitter, I made a mistake today. A guy tried to sneak a gun into the Capitol, and when they caught him, he pulled it out and was ready to start shooting, and they shot him, and he's in the hospital and stuff. And as the story was developing, they described him as troubled. And if you live in America, you know that there are certain code words when yes. shootings happen. Me certain it's, media code words. Troubled. troubled emotionally disturbed. Guy, emotionally disturbed. Right. When white um, people shoot up places, they're troubled. Black dudes are thugs. Anyone even remotely Middle Eastern looking is a terrorist. Loners. Loners yeah. is another. That's another code so word. They described him as troubled. So I went to my media shorthand handbook and assumed he was white. I was incorrect. He's black. My bad. I put that up on Twitter. I was wrong. About fifty-seven people corrected me. That's how the internet works. They'll still be correcting you for a month. Yeah. They won't uh, bother like, to go what? look. They won't bother to go to your profile. They won't bother to go to your timeline to see even if you posted a correction yourself. They'll just keep correcting that same Which tweet. I, did. I posted a correction. I was like, hey, I got it wrong. I can own that. I didn't delete the original tweet because I can own my mistakes. People are still retweeting it. And I, you know, and then the fucking Nazis got involved. <laughs> and then out of the woodwork came every fucking Nazi on Twitter to tell me how I, assuming the shooter was right, white makes me racist against white people and i'm a race traitor and do you think there's like a there's like a nazi bunker and there's like an alarm bell we and got it's like ghostbusters we got one thing about the jews and how i was being sodomized by the great jew cock <laughs> and how jews were in charge of all the social justice <laughs> warriors <laughs> oh shit am i not getting my my paycheck from the jews it got insane, man. Oh like, it God. got weird. I need to start collecting that sweet, sweet social justice warrior money. And like, you know me, I can't just fucking block people. I got to play. So I'm like, please tell me more. Someone called me something called a cuckette. I still haven't figured out what that word means. It's a pull. I think it's de derivative from cuckold, which only works one way. I don't know why they thought cuckette works because they're... I don't know. They can't even get their own lingo down properly. I got called something. I think it's a racial slur, so I'm not going to say it. But I called some, got called something else that someone told me is a new racial slur for black people. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 
I'm just, I'm picturing. Shooter, I made an assumption and that assumption was wrong. And the little journalist in me is very disappointed in myself. And I totally own that mistake, but good God damn. I'm just picturing there's like this little Nazi house and the Nazi signal goes up and they all start scrambling around and everybody's got Hitler mustaches, yeah, even like the, the women. the alarm goes off and they're like, oh my God, we somebody can... said a bad thing about white people on the internet, get her. Even, even like the babies have little Hitler mustaches. Just everybody's got a Hitler mustache. But I can't not. <laughs> white power. Something, something in me is like, okay, let's fucking do this. Uh, I finally had to block the one chick because she was like, like the religious people that come to your door and just won't leave until you convert to Jesus. Like she was just spamming me with link over after link. And I'm like, I've told you five times I'm not interested. I'm not buying what you're selling. Just leave me alone. And finally, I, I'm like, I, I fucking can't anymore, dude. Like sell crazy somewhere else. We're all stuck I, up and here. And she's like, I just really need you to consider the white genocide. And I'm like, there's no white genocide. Oh, but there is. Well, uh, We're being forced to breed with non-white people. Forced! I have not been forced to breed with anybody. I know, I'm like, you know, have I missed an appointment or something? I know, I, so. Did I not put that in my Google calendar? You know, today, uh, be, be forced to breed with the other races. I, I missed my, I'm gonna have to get that rescheduled. I guess, so, I, just, I don't know. I genuinely apologize for getting my facts wrong. <sighs> I fake apologize for being a disgrace to white people everywhere. All hail the great Jewcock. Yeah. I just, I, you know, I. What was funny to me was he called me a square being sodomized by the great Jewcock. And I'm like, I think that's incongruous. Yeah, I know. Squares normally don't have that much of the sodomy. No. Squares normally aren't really cool with the, you're mixing your metaphors there. Yeah. You, just, you know, it's. Well, well, that was my day. That was your day. Let's Someone said we should just cancel the bit tonight and just have me read my crazy replies. No, no, thank you. No, <laughs> but no. some of them I wouldn't read on the air because there's some language in there that I would not say out loud. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah, that is impressive. Uh, all hail the Jewcock. That, that's, that's, there we go. That, yeah. well. And now for something completely different. It is that what we're really here for now that I've wasted everybody's time. <laughs> Let's do with my awful white racism. Oh God, you you horrible racist against just anyway. Let's do the intro. Each week, Catherine goes out worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible shit, brings it back here for a little segment we like to call "What the fuck is wrong with you?" and it was Easter this last weekend, Tara. It was. Sarah Palin thinks Jesus was born on Easter, apparently. Because I guess Ivanka Trump had her baby on Easter, and Sarah Palin said, just like Jesus. Yeah, she's a special creature, isn't she? Yeah. Um. So, uh, if I, I don't know what other countries actually celebrate this thing, but one of the great Easter traditions, at least in America is the Easter egg hunt. Yeah. That's when you you dress your children up in their Sunday best, you give them a little basket, and you make them run around on their hands and knees in the grass. To hunt for eggs. To hunt for eggs, because you have to hide the eggs, because little known fact, Jesus hated eggs. And if yeah. you don't hide your eggs, he'll return from the dead to destroy them all. It's true. That's that's how that works. It's certainly not that the Christians co-opted a spring fertility ritual oh, and made it about Jesus. No. But even still, you think when I was a kid, Easter egg hunt, fun, <clears throat> Easter egg hunts were kind of fun. I enjoyed it. You know, you know, you're, you're five. You get the, you're wearing your best clothes and you get to fuck around in the dirt and your parents, exactly. your mom and doesn't you get, get mad. You get candy. I had you get candy. It's great. Get a whole fuckload of chocolate. It's great. I didn't know what whole the fuck day, was going on. Things you're not supposed to do. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I know. So, thank you, Jesus, for dying for our sins so I could get dirty and have chocolate. So you, it's just fun. But, of course, we adults ruin everything. Adults ruin this. The, Pez held an Easter egg hunt. Yes, that Pez. Yeah. The, the great tracheotomy candy. Which and, is made in Connecticut. 
And uh, <laughs> this, the, the, oh, motherfucker. Mother, mm. mother de fucker de fucker de. Apparently they should have had it at a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, Pez, Easter egg hunt, parrots, push kids, steal candy, quote from a four-year-old. This, this is a heartbreaking quote from a four-year-old. They broke my bucket. Which makes me think of that old meme with the walrus. No, they be stealing my bucket. 2016, Pez Easter egg hunt quickly went from family fun to colossal disaster. Pez Candy USA hosted, it, hosted its annual Easter egg hunt, the company's visitor center in Orange, Connecticut. Uh, staff laid out nearly 10,000 eggs over three fields for 1,000 children, planning three different start times for different age groups with signs designating kids-only zones but some parents ignored the rules and chaos ensued. From four-year-old Vincent Welts, somebody pushed me over, took my eggs, and it's very rude of them, and they broke my bucket. The four-year-old is the most articulate and adult person in this entire story. Yep. Pez General Manager Sean Peterson told RFSB TV that some adults rushed the field and took everything rather than wait for their staggering times. He said the crowd was, quote, kind of like locusts moving from field to field as they pushed small children, took down signs, and overwhelmed Pez staff. One woman said a parent gave her grandchild a bloody nose. That's a grown up. It's a grown up. And of course, the parents all went right to blaming Pez. Well, they didn't have the proper security. They didn't have enough personnel. You know what? Pez has done this every year for many, many years now. And everything was fine. It's not them that's the problem. Maybe they didn't think they needed extended security at an Easter egg hunt for children. Because maybe they counted on the fucking grown-ups to act like fucking grown-ups and not be competitive bags of dicks. You all realize you're here to celebrate the rebirth of Jesus Christ, yes? That's ostensibly what this 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 festival, this holiday is all about. You're celebrating Jesus. And in Jesus' name, you stomped children into the mud. I mean, it's been a long time since I was in catechism, but I'm pretty sure Jesus was never about beating up little kids for candy. For candy! I mean, geez, what were you doing? Like, no, no, fuck that kid. Johnny, fuck him. We're gonna get candy for you, Johnny. Fuck them. Fuck all of them. That's the way Jesus wanted it. Actually, this is kind of very capitalistic all of a sudden. Fuck everyone else. Get all the shit for yourself. And that's American Christianity in a nutshell. It kind of is. Fuck y'all, I got mine. It kind of is. White Jesus loves guns and fuck y'all, I got mine. That's... <sighs> He's got the American Jesus. See him on the interstate. I just... I'm wondering if Jesus was just up there going, oh, you fucks. God damn it. Really? Dad, like is, can we do something about this? This doesn't have to be a fucking competitive thing. It's supposed to be fun for the children, which means you back the fuck off and let the children have fun. Not you step in and goddamn ruin it for everybody. Because... God damn it, if you're Madison, spelled with a Y and three S's, isn't going to get as much candy as the other kids. Dad, can we move up that apocalypse thing a little bit? Are you sure? Because maybe we could just scooch it up the calendar. Oh, okay. Okay. And the fact that they blame the event, that they blame Pez, <sighs> is, it pisses me off because it's not Pez, it's fucking you. Right. You're the ones who fucked it up. They shouldn't need the goddamn Secret Service at an egg hunt unless that egg hunt is taking place at the White House. Yeah. Fucking Beyonce showed up at the White House egg hunt. Nobody shot was, kids in the ground. And there was and there was less pandemonium than at this thing. Beyonce. Well, you know, cool. you know, if somebody stomped a child at the White House, Michelle would just go the fuck off. She would. Have you seen? She is cut. She's got some fucking guns. That woman is that woman will take you down. Yeah, she'd clothesline him. Do not, do not fuck with Michelle. Um, well, let's go on to some other stuff. And like Barry would just hang back and be like, "Y'all, y'all done fucked up now." <laughs> I ain't in this. I ain't in this. It's all her. I'm in this. Um, like yeah, I'm the president, but you pissed her off. Good luck. 
So have you ever gone on a on a cruise? I, it's one thing I, I've actually never done. Have you ever done a cruise? I have not, and I really want to. Well, part of how a cruise works is normally they take you from port to port. You have a set time. You can go off on whatever port it is, and you can play around, and then you have to be back before the ship leaves, and you have to all get back on the boat. If you miss the boat, you have a problem. This stranded. This is not the solution to that problem. Late passenger tries to swim back to cruise ship. No. A 65-year-old British woman was cruising on the Marco Polo cruise ship operated by Cruise and Maritime Voyages. The woman was cruising with her husband and disembarked the ship when it called at Fucal Madeira on Saturday. According to the local news, the woman missed the ship when it departed the island at around 8 p.m. Um, the vessel set sail toward Lisbon, Portugal. She got a taxi to Santa Cruz, which is located on the east side of the island. On the way to the airport in Santa Cruz, she saw the cruise ship sailing nearby. The British woman decided not to give up getting back on board. She went into the ocean and began swimming towards the Marco Polo ship as it was sailing toward its next port of call. As much as the passenger tried to get back aboard, she failed. At around 500 meters from the shore, the woman was still trying to swim with her handbag. <laughs> was surprisingly spotted by local fishermen. The, the fishermen picked up the woman and alerted local authorities if she wasn't- 65. Six. She, I couldn't swim 500 meters now. This is like, God damn it. I am getting back in time for the buffet. But that's some impressive shit, 65. Like... I couldn't swim 500 meters if you put a fucking gun to my head, let alone with my purse. <laughs> like, good for you. That's well, like, Yeah, but good for you. Yeah, it was a bad idea. You could pull that shit off, but... I... Lady! That. There are other options. Yeah. You could meet them at... She was on the way to the airport to meet them at the next port. That was your best option. Do Just you meet them at the next stop. Do you see any ladders on the boat? Yeah, what was your plan once you got there? Just sort of wait. Do you, there are no ladders on this boat. No ladders on the boat. It's not like they can just open the door. No, they, they, they can't. Know, water is going to get in then. It's just, it. That's that's not how that works. You you don't get you don't get to get back on the boat like you have to wait for the next port. I mean, that, that all of a sudden I'm envisioning like Sophia from the Golden Girls. Sixty five, dude. She is not fucking around. No, she's in some good shape with she, her fucking purse. She's in great shape. She's just not really thinking it through. Yeah, that's not how that works. Yeah. Man, those fishermen must have been surprised. <laughs> you just see a little little granny swimming by with her purse. Hold the boat! I'm coming! Ma'am, ma'am, what are you what are you doing? I miss my boat. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll thank you, but I'm fine. Okay. I don't want to be any trouble. I'm just gonna catch the boat. We'll be fine. Hypothermia. Oh, this poor lady. <laughs> oh, okay, Irving in the channel. Marco Polo! Marco Polo! <laughs> yeah, that's not how you play that game. That's not how you play the game. Because this, this ship's not coming back. It's not coming back. Did you ever see the movie Deep Water? No, I didn't. It was based on a real thing that happened, apparently, where a couple of people, uh, uh, newlyweds, went scuba diving. And by some misadventure of counting, the boat left them behind. And no one really knows what happened to them. They, the movie then takes off from there and makes a bunch of shit up about jellyfish stings and sharks. And it's two hours of just these two people in the middle of the fucking ocean being slowly killed. And it's horrible. Now, imagine them as like, you know, an old British couple. Who jumped in the water on purpose? Jumped in the water. Like they got left behind in the water by accident. You chose that. That's a bad choice. Uh, the ocean. Well, moving on along. Um, 
Gentlemen. Oh, open water, it's called. Sorry. Gentlemen, uh, long have people told you to knock it off with the Axe body spray. Yes. Everyone has told you. And if, if just having people tell you that, oh God, please, you're killing us, is not enough, this next story will probably cement in your mind that maybe the Axe body spray marketing is a bit of a lie. Also, yeah, by the way, that smell is pretty much eau de douchebag. Yeah. Axe body spray fumes cause emergency evacuation of church and take care. Oh my God. A faulty can of Axe body spray was responsible for the evacuation of a Seattle church and daycare on Friday after it began emitting, quote, cough-inducing fumes. Wow. A backpack containing the leaking can was found in a bathroom in the church, prompting a 911 call about the offending bag and a clearing of both buildings. When, when the fire department arrived at the scene, they decided to call it a hazmat team. Good call. What is that smell? I don't know, man. I don't want to risk it. Call in the fucking hazmat team. Like, why did you... Does this, like... I'm... As we established last week, I'm a woman. I have never... No. Ever been moved to fuck a guy because he was wearing axe. In fact, I'm probably going to move the other direction from yeah. fucking him yeah. because that shit is vile. Like... <laughs> It's too strong and it's too douchey and it's bad. And you smell like fucking what I imagine Andrew Dice Clay smelled like in the 80s. I just, I love the fact that even the fire department took one whiff and decided like, we got to call the hazmat team. <laughs> that really should be all you need to know. <laughs> the fire department got a, just smelled that the axe and went, oh God, no. Nope, 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 nope. We nope, don't know nope. what this is, but it's potentially lethal. They sent in the bomb defusing robot. The robot was like, nope. <laughs> robot went all fucking Skynet and started killing people. <laughs> I just, yeah, that's not a good endorsement for Axe body spray. That really please, isn't. Please, men, if there's anyone in the chat that or that's watching that uses Axe, please stop immediately. Yes. yes. You there, are not helping yourself. There are much finer products. Do not do this thing. There are finer products than There acts. are products in your local Target or drugstore that cost the same that do not smell like rampant douchebag. <laughs> Just imagining one priest there with a cross and all the kids, Get behind me, children! I'll drive back the evil! Get thee behind me, axe! <laughs> Yeah, if the, if nothing, if the, the advertising is lying, and if nothing else could dissuade you, let the fact that the fire department got a whiff of axe and thought the best course of action was to alert hazmat. That could be you someday. That you could be a hazmat hazard. That's all you need to know about axe body spray. Yeah. Oh. Stinky Tara, but no. All right, be stinky. Mm -hmm. Smell like a douchebag. Your call. Your life. So Canada has has some of the strangest crimes. And I think this happened before. But it oh. appears to have happened again. I'm not sure. So we'll have to check and see if this happened again. This is, is an oddly, it's a terrifying and yet kind of polite crime. Well, it's Canada. So, yeah. <laughs> Man arrested after forcing bus to go to donut shop. Oh no. A Canadian man who hijacked a city bus and demanded he be taken to Tim Hortons has been arrested. Investigators say Friday, Daniel Ferreira, 31, boarded the bus early Friday, just past midnight, and forced the driver at knife point to bypass several red lights at a high rate of speed before eventually demanding to be dropped off at a Tim Hortons. Dude, you do not need a donut that bad. No. I, Nobody in the history of the world has ever needed a donut that bad. I've been to Tim Hortons. They're okay. They're not the greatest thing ever. They're okay. I like, I, I, they have a good breakfast. 
I've never been to a Tim Hortons. Wow, you're that you're, you're like in the Northeast. I would expect a couple had had infected their way down to you, but no, I don't think so. Where d- Northeast is Dunkin' Donuts country, uh, like hardcore. There are some in New York, so. But you know, I I, I don't. I, did you really need? I mean, no. It's like you don't need Tim Hortons that badly. No, I have heard their coffee's good. But, but this this don't is need to commit a felony just to just for fucking Tim Hortons. Are the donuts that good? They're not. They're okay. They're okay donuts. <laughs> they're okay. They're okay. They're, they're... they're like misdemeanor donuts, not felony. <laughs> you know, you might run a red light in your own car for a Tim Hortons. I could see that. Sure. Not hijack the bus. At knife point. What was going down at the Tim Hortons that night? I can just imagine the, the bus drivers going, wait, wait, wait. You want to go where? <laughs> Are you? It, really? Not like over the border? You do know we were stopping two blocks from there anyway, right? Yeah, we were stopping there any damn way. That's the other thing. If you really need to get to a Tim Hortons that bad, they're not hard to find. Throw a rock in Canada. <laughs> you're going to hit. Either a Tim Hortons or somebody playing hockey. So you really could have just gotten on the bus and stayed there. Yeah, and you would have eventually would have made it. Eventually there would have been a Tim Hortons. Just a little bit of patience. And you could have had donuts and coffee and not a felony charge. Right. It's it's you don't need to to have a knife to get there. Fuck's sake, I'm pretty sure if you will, if you looked around careful, there was probably one before you even got on the fucking bus. They're like a virus. They divide. There's like mitosis, which is it? Mitosis or meiosis or cell division. That's how they spawn. See, that's kind of how Dunkin' Donuts are on Long Island. Exactly, Dunkin' yeah. Donuts and 7-Elevens on Long Island, like, turn in pretty much any direction and walk half a mile and you're going to hit one of those things on Long Island. It's, it's mitosis, yeah, because the, the stores... They don't build them. They actually sort of split off and then they just a new throw there. Right. Yeah. It just yeah, that's how you, that's how you get a new one. I don't know what the equivalent is in Jersey because <sighs> like I have within a mile of my home, I do have two Dunkin' Donuts and a Starbucks. You don't have Krispy Kreme though. Not really. Yeah. We're just starting to get Krispy Kremes. That's a southern thing. Um, yeah, Wawa in South Jersey, but not ra- like I'm in Central Jersey and there's nothing like where I guess in the no man's land between where 7-Eleven rules and where like Wawa rules. And yet I could not imagine holding someone at knife point going Dunkin Donuts now, motherfucker. You bleed. No. I got to get me some glazed. I got to get me some glazed. Gotta I have at glazed. times been known to when we're in the car, look at Dan and be like, we got to go to Dunkin Donuts. We have to. Yes, we do. Yeah, but you. But I've never pulled a knife on him <laughs> yet. He he hasn't said no yet. There you go. Yet. So we'll go from one fast food disaster to another. Um, I've never had this. Okay, I've had this happen with the Chick Fil A before they went on their super anti gay shit. Because back in the day, I used to eat at Chick Fil A a lot. Except there's that one little little asterisk when it comes to Chick-fil-A. They ain't open on Sunday. Well, no, because they're owned by very religious people. Right. And it used to be before, you know, again, this is before the anti-gay shit and I stopped eating there. Um, I, I would go to Chick-fil-A. I'd be like, you know what I really want today? I want to get some Chick-fil-A. And I would drive to Chick-fil-A and I forget it was fucking Sunday. And I'd get there and it'd be closed and I'd get all pissed off. Even though it was my fault. Mm-hmm. I'd get all pissed off and be like, man, now I gotta get Burger King. Fuck. Because I want a Chick-fil-A. Fuck. Man, fuck. I had that habit. I could kind of understand it, but my reaction was not this. Do you remember we did the story on how Popeyes ran out of chicken and that lady was like, how am I going to feed my kids? That was a while ago. Yeah, man crashes car after finding Taco Bell closed. Oh, well, Taco Bell, he was probably high as fuck. Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Police in Massachusetts charged a man, they say, got so angry 
when he found out Taco Bell was closed that he sped off in his car, crashed into a freestanding ATM building, and knocked himself unconscious. Ow. Police say Derek LaForest pulled up to the drive-thru at Pittsfield at 1.30 a.m. Thursday, and when no one came to serve him, honked his horn for two minutes. After a worker told him the restaurant was closed, he tore away at high speed, struck a curb, lost control, and smashed into the building. He refused medical attention. Yeah, he was high as fuck. <laughs> The forest told police he didn't remember hitting the building. Well, you know what? That's probably because you were not the fuck unconscious. <clears throat> and I get this. Like, I like those, those those apple empanadas, too. But sometimes you don't get what you want. Life is hard. <sighs> yeah, and you know what? I'm pretty sure you could just go to, go to fucking Denny's. Yeah. You're high as shit. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's all going to taste the same as food, but you do what you got to do. It's all going to taste the same anyway. Well, does Taco Bell really count as food? Have you had the apple empanadas? Those things are good, man. Like everything else there is okay. Like the tacos are okay. I find the quesadillas subpar. But those apple empanadas, those are what's up. And then they have now they have those Cinnabon things that look like little cinnamon sugar they're like they look like munchkins okay but they're by cinnabon so they're little balls covered in cinnamon and sugar and it's when you bite into them that they are filled with the white icing this sounds horrific horrifying so they're little balls that and when you bite into them white creamy stuff comes out <laughs> I don't know how this got through marketing. Are you are you trying to are we saying that there's some subtext here to the Cinnaballs? I don't know how it got through marketing. Like this was one of those things where you should have run it by a 14 year old because and the ads like they show them they have one cracked open and all the white icing is oozing out and I'm like that's obscene. <laughs> <clears throat> and they serve them for breakfast. Well, yeah, first thing in the morning, of course you want to gobble some balls. I mean, Cinnabon is, I like Cinnabon as much as anybody else who spends a lot of time in a mall. Cinnabon I, is not breakfast food. I don't, I don't like Cinnabon. Cinnabon is hellish. I like Cinnabon. That's awful for you. I like. Well, now you can get, instead of the whole Cinnabon, you can get, they cut up just the middle and they cut it up. And then put the icing over it and that's pretty good. It's, it's. Cinnabon is, is sadness and regret drenched in sugar. But yeah, I don't want sadness and regret sugar cum filled balls <laughs> for breakfast. We've really gotten off the topic here. If I did want that, I could get it somewhere other than Taco it's, Bell probably. We're I could call up one of my exes. We're talking about a guy who got so pissed that Taco Bell was closed, he crashed his car and you took me by the hand and you <laughs> led me down this sugar ball filled road. Of, of of cinnamon testicles. What the fuck happened here? What the shit just happened? Now you know how I pissed off the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Oh, okay. Our last story tonight. This, I, again, our, our standard disclaimer. I normally don't do stories where people get hurt. And this guy definitely got hurt. However, he was doing something that was incredibly dangerous, incredibly stupid, could have hurt somebody else, is lucky to be the fuck alive, and did it to his own damn self. So I really don't have a problem covering this one. This is, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the most Georgia story it could possibly be man loses leg shooting rifle at lawnmower packed with explosives. Why would you do that? And there is video of it. We ain't showing it. We ain't showing it. No. <clears throat> Gruesome video footage has surfaced showing the moment a Georgia daredevil 
lost his leg shooting a semi-automatic rifle at a lawnmower packed with several pounds of deadly explosive. David Presley, 32, could be seen moving closer and closer to the explosive target as he peppers it with bullets. Moments later, the lawnmower suddenly explodes, unleashing a plume of smoke and shrapnel. Authorities say one piece of shrapnel struck Presley, severing his leg below the knee. The graphic video recorded last week captures blood splattering across the camera lens before Presley yells, quote, I blew my leg off. Okay, bad enough you were shooting mm. at a lawnmower filled with explosives. You moved closer to it as you shot? While filming himself doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bloody horrific conclusion to, hey, y'all watch this. This, this is, I, why are you looking at Dan? Because. Why are you looking immediately at Dan? Because Dan is really, really, really uh, <laughs> adamant about like gun safety. Like wa watching movies with Dan is really interesting because he'll sit there and tell you all the shit they're doing wrong with the guns. Keeping the like, fingers on Man the trigger. Last night. He was like, they would definitely not deploy that aircraft into a civilian area. The shells are this big and they blow things up and they fire them at a thousand a second. And I'm like, wow, OK, I didn't know that. <laughs> I just thought it was a stupid ass movie. <laughs> well, it is for so many reasons. I'm on him because I want to know what kind of faces he's making <laughs> about the dude that shot a semi-automatic rifle at a lawnmower full of explosives and moved closer to it. He deserved to lose his leg. There we go. Now, listen, this has actually become a bit of a problem. This is based around something. It's becoming a problem in rural Georgia because of something called Tannerite. This is a, this is an over-the-counter product that sold a mixture of ammonium nitrate and aluminum powder that explodes. <laughs> what did he say? He laughed in a way that creeps me out. <laughs> it's a mixture of ammonium nitrate and aluminum powder that explodes when struck by a high-velocity bullet. It's normally used for target practice. The product's website instructs users not to place tannerite inside, under, or near any type of metal object. For every pound of tannerite, ex experts advise standing 100 yards away. Um, Why are they selling this over the counter? They can. Why can they? Because they can. It is that this is from the um, Chief Craig League with the Walton County Fire Rescue said it's become extremely popular in the last couple of years and it's sold in many outdoor supply stores such as Calabas, Bass Pro Shops, Gander Mountain, and others. One of the drawbacks with Tannerite is the more the product that you mix together and shoot, the bigger and louder explosion. This makes really? sense. Quite dangerous for amateurs I to use. I all about explosives, and I could have told you that. More explosives equals bigger explosion. Sheriff Joe Chapman says he gets several complaints a week about tannerite frightening people's animals and waking children. He said that people are well within the rights to use the material on their own property, but they should ensure they have adequate space to do so safely. What is the logical reason that, like, what is the purpose for which this is sold? To entertain people. That's dumb. It's cool. It's cool when you shoot stuff and it explodes. No, it, there is there a practical use for this stuff? It's cool you you shoot stuff and it explodes? No, there's got to be something better than that, right? The station reports that people... Like, they're not just going to sell you C4 because it's cool. <laughs> yeah, if, they, if it was legal, they would. Hmm? If it was legal, they would. Yeah, but it's not legal is what I'm saying. This is. Why? Because it's cool. No. No, but listen to this. The station reported that people have begun posting videos online of explosions that use as much as 100 pounds of tannerite. And remember, the instructions advise for every one pound, you should move 100 yards away. I don't think people were standing 100,000 yards away when they were shooting at the 100 pounds of Tannerite. Probably not. 
This is not the last time we're going to see something about this, I don't think. <clears throat> I'm really concerned that this is just a thing you can buy. I'm really concerned that when you described it, my fiance fucking laughs. <laughs> that was your life choice, not mine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> At least he lived in Georgia before he moved up here. At least he doesn't live in fucking Georgia anymore. I lived in Georgia, but I lived in one of the same little pockets. I lived in Savannah, which is mm. like an actual city. It's just when you get outside Savannah, it's like, you know, it's like if you, you know how in like D&D, &D, if you leave it, if you leave a town, it's like vast oh, wastelands. I, I visited where he grew up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You leave the town, there's like this vast wasteland of nothing. That's Even how it the works. the fucking Ozarks? Yeah, yeah. Where you can just hear the banjos in the air. Yeah. This is, this guy is lucky to be the fuck alive. Yeah, he is. Stop doing this shit for YouTube. Do you want, do you know how much I make Stop on YouTube? Stop doing it at all. Well, no, just, do you know how much I make on YouTube? I'm... Not nearly enough to make it worth, to almost make it worth blowing off my own leg. Not nearly that much. Like, if you want a lot of YouTube hits, just fucking get a cat. Yes, it's, it's where'd mine it's go? It's pretty much all you have to do. Where it's the you... internet. Mine jumped off his little perch. He's laying on the floor. <laughs> Fuck you, don't exploit me. Goofus. But forget YouTube. Forget YouTube. Don't don't do this at all. Well, it's the whole it's 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 the American mindset. If it's if it's legal, why not? Because you'll blow your leg off. That's why not. Uh, I think the why not is pretty clear. So the the first thing we learned this week is that explosives are not toys. Just because you can buy it legally does not make it a toy. And I don't think you should be able to buy that stuff legally. Well, you can. Go to the Bass Pro Shop. Get you some... Man, I, now, now I realize... I really hope nobody in the cam sees this. Oh, God. Because the first thing that happens is, in-game... Yeah. In role-playing games everywhere, you can buy this shit at the Bass Pro... And they're going to have characters that are going to be breaking into the Bass Pro and just making off with nothing but Tannerite. <clears throat> I can do this because it's like that in the real world. Oh, fuck. Yeah. We've learned that Taco Bell has tasty cream-filled balls, but they're not worth crashing your car over. No. We learned that also... It's not worth getting arrested just for some fucking Tim Hortons. I promise you can find one without holding someone at knife point. They're fucking everywhere. Yeah, you don't need to go to those lengths for neither the sweet cream filled balls or the donuts. We've learned that Axe body spray <laughs> will trigger a hazmat response. And let that be all you need to know. I love that the firefighters were like, Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I didn't sign on for this crap. No. no. Um, we've learned that if you miss the boat, swimming's not an option. No. Just <laughs> next port. They're not going to send down a ladder. They're just going to be really confused. To be like, lady. We're probably gonna get sucked into the propellers or something. Yeah, that's an op. Don't do that. If there's fucking engines down there. They're big. They'll eat you. Yeah, Grady. That's right. I don't know if you yeah. heard him. What do you? What? What? Can you hear him? No. Grady. Grady, what are you doing? Grady, come here. <sighs> Grady. You want treats? Your cat yep, is going to Yeah, there he is. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? That yeah, got, his ass, got his ass motivated like a motherfucker. Hello. Hello, like, I'm here for the treats. I'm here, Grady. Here you go, treats. There you're you gonna, go. You're going to have Jabba the cat. You keep that up. Oh, no, he runs around enough. I, I think he's He's, he's going to be unable to move himself. 
<laughs> Man, those goofy <laughs> bastards. And we finally, we learned Easter egg hunts are not a contact sport. No, there's no full contact Easter. N not since the Roman times, no. 